Hello, my name is Owe Ostrakamp. I'm the executive director of the Ron McDonald House of Durham and Wake. This Friday night at the amazing restaurant, Maximilian's and Carrie, Margie and Will have invited us to come in for a dash of love. Come on in, let Michelle mix you a drink, and then Margie, who is also the executive chef, is gonna cook an incredible meal for us in gratitude for everything that you guys do for helping us take care of our guest families at the Ron McDonald House. Thank you so much, let's get started. Hello, I'm Michelle here, the bartender at Maximilian's. Uh, today we're gonna be making a bourbon summer cocktail. So we're gonna start off, uh, we have the Lone Rider Sherry Cast Whiskey, that is local uh, out of downtown Raleigh. And then we're gonna have elderflower uh, liqueur. Right now we have the Saint Elder. We're gonna have your lemons, soda water, and these are gonna be portioned for you already with the bourbon and the elderflower. We're gonna take our two tall glasses and fill them all the way to the top with ice. And these are portioned out for two drinks, so I'm gonna go ahead and make both of them. You're gonna start off with the bourbon and pour about half of this into each one. Then we're gonna take our elderflower and it's just gonna go right on top of the bourbon. Then you're gonna have club soda, whichever kind you like, it's just gonna to top that off there. Not all the way, you wanna leave some room, we're gonna squeeze some lemon in there. So each drink will be about one lemon a piece. So when you cut that lemon in half, go ahead and cut you a slice for the end garnish. And we're just gonna squeeze those right on top. You might get some seeds in there. Stir those up. And there we have a summer bourbon cocktail, the front porch swing. Hello, my name is Will Hennessy. I am the owner of Maximilian's Grill and Wine Bar with my wife, Margie. Uh, you have your cocktail. Now we're gonna talk a little bit about the uh, wine feature with your dinner. It is a rosé from Bordeaux. Uh, it's 100% uh, Cabernet, and I really think it'll go well with the uh, shrimp and steak you're having. Cheers. Hi, welcome. My name is Margie Hennessy. I'm the executive chef and owner of Maximilian's Grill and Wine Bar. We've been located in Cary for 30 years this year. My husband and I are the owners and we're excited to have you here today. Uh, it's summer in North Carolina, so we're gonna focus on a grill dish because everyone likes to get their grill out and North Carolina has got beautiful produce going on right now. Lots of fun stuff to keep everyone out of the kitchen and keep, keep your kitchens cool for the summer. Stay outdoors, one grill deal. We've got a beautiful Brasstown beef ribeye from our mountains in North Carolina. We're gonna grill that up with some North Carolina shrimp and then this beautiful array of vegetables from Chickadee Farms out in Clayton, North Carolina. So let's go ahead and start with getting that ribeye on the grill. It's about an inch and a quarter ribeye. To get to medium rare, which is about 145 degrees, you're gonna throw it on your grill for about 10 minutes on each side. So we'll go ahead and flip that. After five minutes or 10 minutes, we'll go ahead and flip back to the other side. Turn your ribeye at about the five minute mark so you get those nice crisscross lines on your grill. So the exciting thing about this beef is it is brass hound beef, again, from the mountains of North Carolina. It is a grass-fed organic beef, and the farm actually grows the grass specifically for the cows to eat. Everyone thinks, oh yeah, I like to poke, my, poke it so it flames up. You're actually then pushing the juices out of the steak. Just leave her alone. 
After about 10 minutes on each side, you're gonna wanna go ahead, pull that steak off and just let it sit and rest. The meat will release, release the juices and that's where you really get your good flavor going. Next, we're gonna go ahead and throw our vegetables on the grill. So you've got zephyr squash, which is a green and yellow hybrid squash. You've got some beautiful patty pans, some shishito peppers, yellow corn, and red onion. Those are all marinated in a little bit of olive oil, salt, pepper, cumin, chili flake, and then some fresh oregano and lemon thyme. Go ahead and just toss those on. And I like to just kind of do a big dump in because the flavors of the, the smoke will sometimes reach into the squash. The corn you got to listen for, it'll start popping. But you'll see you'll start to get some nice marks going. See some nice colors on your peppers where they'll start to blister. And that's when you know you're ready to give them a turn. You can hear the corn. About one more turn on that. The onions. Onions will probably be the take the longest actually of all the vegetables. The squash right now is real young and tender, so it really doesn't take. It's not that hard squash. Nice soft, and you still want a little bit of firmness for texture while you're eating it. Go ahead, I'm gonna pull the corn off the grill. You see it's got some nice marks on there. You still want to keep some of it ungrilled, un I guess, so the sweetness will come out, so you get a little bit of sweetness in there. And it looks like those shishitos are about done as well. You can pull those off. And after about five minutes or so on the grill, you should have some good grill marks going tenderness to the vegetables. Treat your vegetables just like you would a piece of protein. And your onion's no different than a chicken breast or the steak we just pulled off. And just go ahead and keep hit, moving them around until they're your desired doneness. All right, last two things we're gonna go ahead and grill. One is the romaine lettuce. And we're gonna go ahead and cut that head of romaine in half. Take your lemon and cut it in half. Squeeze that all over both sides of the lettuce, fresh lemon juice. And then you're gonna hit it with a little bit of olive oil and some salt and pepper. Here you've got from our coast, the guys at Local Seafood provide us with the best shrimp in North Carolina. Go ahead and throw those on, and those are just hit with a little bit of olive oil, salt, and pepper. They'll start to get a little pink. We got about another minute, probably about two minutes on each side, and you'll see how the tails start to pinken up. Go ahead and give them a flip. Instead of being white, the whole shrimp will be pink. Finally, the last thing we're gonna do is on the grill, and then we'll be done with the grill for a little bit, is go ahead and, and grill our lettuce. Again, you've got your lemon, salt, pepper, and olive oil on there, just like you did all your veggies. You're gonna go ahead and throw that right on. And those shrimp are done. I'm gonna go ahead and let those rest. The lettuce will start to wilt, and you'll start to, just like all those other vegetables, you'll start to see your grill marks. Some people like a little extra char, I myself do. I enjoy that super charred warmth within the little bit of coolness from the inside of the, of the lettuce is always a nice combination. And that's ready to pull. Now before we put this all together, we do need to take our corn off the husk and slice our steak. We're going to take our corn, set it down, take your blade, and go right across and slice straight down. And 
If there's two of you, slice that steak right on the bias. This one's a beautiful rare. Some people like to go a little bit darker. And we'll just go ahead and slice it. And then for plating purposes, we're gonna go ahead and take our lettuce. We're gonna add our grilled veg. Our grilled onions. The shishitos, which people hear shishito peppers and they think that they're hot, very hot and spicy. It's actually a beautiful sweet pepper. And then we're going to grab our steak and put that across. Sprinkle that all over. Add your shrimp and it's skewered so you don't lose them on the grill. Toss that with the cilantro jalapeno vinaigrette. And there you have it. North Carolina ribeye and shrimp summer vegetable salad. Shout out to Brasstown Beef, local seafood, and Chickadee Farms. Thank you everyone who came out and supported the Ronald McDonald Children's House today and always. And thank you to everyone who has been a loyal Maximilian supporter for the past 30 years. On behalf of everyone at Max Maximilian's, Will and myself, thank you. Thank you very much.